Now that both files are copied, what we need to do is to run the install setup correctly. We enter into the control panel inside the data collector and then go to save setup in the file admin. We'll click on save setup and now we will go to the root directory in the data collector so we just go up 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 and then double click on my device that's the root directory and here we get both installers that we just copied we can select any of these press ok installation will start this can pop up if it does just press ok ok again wait for the installer to complete and now we will repeat the same operation with the other file Once both files are processed, we click on Save Session. Then OK. Now we can close the control panel. If we want, we can erase the installer files from the root directory or we can just leave them there as I will do. Now we will configure AppyTrack Mobile. Just start AppyTrack Mobile. The configuration men menu is not directly accessible. You need to do Alt A Alt B. Alt C. These keys are in yellow for accessing the A, B, and C. So I will need to press Alt Yellow A, Alt Yellow B, and then Alt Yellow C. So we go Alt Yellow A, uh, Yellow Alt Yellow B, Yellow Alt Yellow. C yellow. Now you can see that the configure mode menu is available. We will just get in there. And we what we want to do if it's the first time you use the data collector is set up your producer. So we'll just go into the like, configure producers. I have one producer configured here, 1001. I will add just a new one. Enter your producer number. If you don't know what this is, don't fill it up, just press enter. This producer's number will be the ones that are synced when the data collector is connected to the computer, not others. You can also change the database folder and the data collector type. This is a Dialogic Scorpio. So we just select that option. If, if this is incorrectly configured, it will hang up the equipment. You can change the language for here. If you change the language, the system will restart like this and it will start up in a new language so you will have to do all the operation to open the control menu again the configuration menu again so I strongly recommend to do this as the last time of the last thing you have to configure is the database folder this folder contains all the data into a flash disk so if your data collector runs out of battery you won't lose the data you might lose the program but not the data that you have input in the field 
go inside the database folder and for the data collectors the data logic Scorpio the correct database folder is the backup folder so I will just please change go into the upper menu here select backup and press enter and that's it it's I will just enter and there is 2122 the producer that I just configured as you can see in the bottom there is no data there is no name that means this hasn't been synced so all you gotta do is plug it in and sync it with Apitrack Mobile Desktop